All right, so today we're going to be talking about graphing quadratics, and we're going to start with the most simple quadratic x squared. All right, we've got our x squared term here, right? And so what we're going to do is we need, right, we need to take a look at certain transformations. First thing we're going to talk about is translation. So what if I wanted to shift to the right two? What if I wanted to shift this over to the right two? Well, the way I would do that is I'm going to put in parentheses x minus two squared. Notice to shift to the right two, I've got x minus two squared. Okay, well, what if I wanted to shift to the left two? Well, instead, I would do x plus two squared. All right. Notice to shift to the right two, I did x minus two squared. To shift to the left two, I went x plus two squared. So shifting to the right, x minus two squared. Shifting to the left, x plus two squared. Okay. What if I wanted to go up? Well, what I would do is I would actually add on the outside of my x squared value. So if I have x squared plus two, notice now I have shifted up, right? I've shifted up from x, right from my x squared term. I've shifted up two units. And if I wanted to go down two units, I'd have x squared minus two, all right? So I've shifted from x squared, I've shifted down two units. And actually, I want to make this orange. Make this orange. And as a matter of fact, let's make this dotted. Let's make this dotted. All right. And let's make this, let's make the others dotted as well, just a different kind of dotting. All right. Probably doing too much. All right. So check this out. If, so if I wanted to shift, so I'm starting with x squared. Shifting to the right, I'm going to do x minus 2 squared. Shifting to the left, I do x plus 2 squared. Shifting up, I do x squared plus 2, so on the outside. Shifting down, I'm going to go on the outside. So what we can say as a general format is I've got x minus h squared plus k. And we're going to make sliders for both. Where, and I'm going to get rid of all these real quick where h tells me if I'm shifting to the right or to the left. So h is going to be my uh, horizontal shift. So if I'm shifting, let's go back to my slider. Slider. Shifting to the right or to the left. All right, you're following me so far. And k determines whether I shift up or down. Okay, so H denotes if I add it inside or subtracting inside of the equation, whether I'm going left or right, K tells me if I'm shifting up or down. Now check this out. Let's make H be 3 here. And let's make K be, I don't know, negative 2 or something. Negative 2. Well, this is just the function X, so I'm just going to re replace here. So I'm just going to replace this with 3, minus 3 squared plus 2. Or I'm sorry, minus 2. Notice these indeed are the same equation. Let me change the color on this. So these are the same equation. All right. So notice, what is the vertex on this equation? Well, it's 3 and negative 2. It's h, k. It's the point H, which is 3, K, which is 2. Do you all see that? So if I have something, if I have a quadratic in vertex form, then all I have to do to find the vertex is going to pull this 3 down and this negative 2. Now notice it's not negative 3, negative 2, because we have this X minus H. If I wanted to shift to the right, 
3. It would be x plus 3 squared minus 2. Notice it would be x plus 3 squared minus 2. Why would it be x plus 3 squared? Because this really is negative, negative 3. So the vertex here is actually going to be negative 3. Y'all see the difference? So here, when I'm plus 3, my x value is going to be negative, right? Because I'm shifting to the left three spaces. And when I went down to, obviously, it's real simple. It's just going to be down to minus 2. Or if I want to shift up to, like if I wanted the vertex to be here at 3, 2, then this would just make this up plus. All right, so that is vertex form. Um, shifting left, right, up, and down. So let's bring it all home. Let's do a couple of examples. So we got x squared. I want to shift to the left three, and I want to shift up two. I want to shift to the left three and up two. If I want to shift to the left three, it's going to be x minus left three x plus 3 squared. All right. And once again, we want to shift to the left 3. And we're now going to shift up 2. OK? So if I'm shifting to the left 3, that's x plus 3. I'm going to shift up 2, it's plus 2. Well, what's the vertex on here? Well, since I've got a, neg I've got a plus 3, I'm going to have a negative h, right, because they're inverses. So I'm going to have negative 3. That's my h term. And if I'm going to go up to, well, that's real simple. It's just 2. And we can see this definitely is the vertex. All right. Let's do another one. What if I wanted to go to the right, right, 4. I'll go to the right. Four. I'm just going to use arrows, and I'm going to go down, down the, uh, I want to go down um, two. All right, so I'm going to go to the right four. I want to go down two. Well, let's see what we would do there. Okay. So if I wanted to go to the right 4, that's going to be x minus 4. And if I want to go down 2, I'll do that right there, right? I'm going down 2. Well, what's the vertex on this? Well, it's inverse for your x value, so it's just 4. And the vertex is going to be 4, negative 2. And that's it.